Well, Facebook doing what they do best, censoring and shutting down pro-life, pro-Christian, pro-family groups like 500 Moms Strong. We're going to talk about it, guys. Before you go any further, though, got to get it out of the way really quick as people always ask me, why do you wear the sunglasses? It's not a fashion statement. I can tell you that. I wear them because I am blind. So now there, we got that out of the way. Please give the video here a like, share it across all your platforms. Subscribe here if you are brand new. Make sure you click the bell, put the notifications in the all position. YouTube is changing those sometimes a lot without you even knowing about it. So just double check that. You guys can also help me out by going over supporting the channel through Patreon for as low as $5 a month. You can visit patreon.com slash conservative truth link in the description when you guys sign up not only do you help me out you throw a couple bucks my way with youtube demonetizing all these videos now but you also get all my exclusive bonus content that you do not want to miss we talk a lot more about sensitive information the other great thing about patreon you always get the alerts and notifications unlike youtube so it's a great way to not miss anything that i put out there so thank you guys so much for that support let's talk about 500 mom strong this is not the first time or even the second time, but the third time that Facebook has shut this group down. Now, what is 500 Mom Strong? Well, they are a group of moms that are speaking out against Drag Queen Story Hour. Of course, the Drag Queen Story Hours, where you guys know by now, these drag queens show up in the libraries and they read books to kids about the LGBT agenda and everything like that. It's terrible. I've been speaking about it now for over a year, uh, especially with all these cases that have developed from this. Uh, and these, the type of people that they get in here to these libraries uh, many of them uh, offenders, you guys get my drift, okay? But this group has spoke out against it. In fact, the founder of the 500 Mom Strong, uh, Anna Hall Bohatch, has spoke out and, and said that, you know, it's funny because you have these counter groups to 500 Mom Strong, like 500 Drag Strong. They're allowed to stay on the platform. That's not a problem. Facebook took down 500 Mom Strong this past Monday, June the first and said that they violated the company terms of service for being transphobic that was the reason that they got taken down of course with facebook you can't talk about that you can't call this stuff out for what it is because they will in fact shut you down but anna went on here in an interview to talk about the fact that not only are there all these other counter groups these other drag groups out there that are mocking 500 mom strong but they even have several accounts out there mocking anna personally and calling her words like the C word and other horrible things that I can't even repeat here. But those groups are allowed to stay on the platform completely fine with no issue at all. And I'm not all that surprised by it. Just it's sickening uh, to see this sort of double standard being taking place here. But again, it's Facebook. I guess what can we really expect at this point? I guess we shouldn't be all that surprised. Now, Anna has said that they are going to continue to fight against this. She's building a private group right now. And you know what? They're not going to let this stop them. And that's good because we need people to call this out for what it is. And that's exactly why they are censored for it because they don't want the truth to go out there about what's really happening with these kids and these drag queens. And I guess the only good thing right now is the fact that, you know, with most gatherings being shut down right now because of the corona, they're not having any drag queen story hour at libraries, but they are doing it online, uh, which is just as bad still because kids still have access to that. And that's another way for them to still get the agenda out there. So that's still not a good thing. Guys, let me know what you think about this down below in the comments section. Facebook taking down 500 Mom Strong. I'll put some more information in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk to you soon.